It's Christina, the channel for Othella. Othella has granted me permission to share a few more messages with you. I love these videos because the personality of Christina can shine forth. I can talk to you today about going storyless. The minute you drop out of the egoic storytelling, the chit-chatter in the head, the minute you come into full light, And by full light, I mean the mind stops its wheels. We come to the breath. We peruse our environment. We become very alive in our environment. Okay. Can even touch. Yes, right here, right now stabilizing, neutralizing in the now. We can have a focal point in vocalized light, such as OM. You can do this either out loud or you can do it mentally. You can choose whatever interceptor technique, but that you will choose every day to go storyless. In other words, we don't allow the mind to get up enough momentum all the time to keep these stories alive and going. The mind would love nothing more than for you to gobble up these stories like frosted flakes. And the mind continuously moving in this way feeds into itself more. So any situation, the mind gets in there and the stories begin. And the mind usually on the whole gets very negative very quick with all of that. And where's the light in all this? Like what, what happened to the lights? So the lights went off. Well, the light doesn't go off, dear friends. It's just that our egoic mind gets the front seat and, and gets to put on this whole production and then we believe it to be so. We give a lot of belief behind these stories. So observe throughout your day. Am I in storyland? Ask yourself throughout your day. Is this a story? Am I in the story? Oh. And then you can pull away. And it's bit by bit, right? It's not going to be like all in one foul swoop all in one day. You know, we're going to be suddenly immersed in light, you know. It took many, many years with my sitting with Othella and channeling Othella to learn how to become quiet and still and to disengage from story, to tell the difference between when I'm up here and when I'm in my full light center, more in the now than in the head. And so bit by bit, recognize when stories come up and say to yourself, I'm going to step out of the story. I'm going to come into the now. And you can use any technique you like. You could, you could focus on the image of a camel, <laughs> and that could be your, your, you know, your mantra, your, your image. Doesn't really matter. It could be the breath. It could be coming into your physical experience. It could be embodiment of your physical body, just feeling the light in your body. But to be sure, moving out of storyland is moving up in light. Fall out of the stories, the judgments, the labels, the chit 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 chatter, the frosted flakes of all of that, and step away and be more in your light center throughout the day. And see how that feels. No one can tell you how your life will be if you are more embodied in light than you are in your head. If you give more belief to light than you do to the stories, what happens then? Only you will know. So I invite you to your own self-inquiry, self-discovery. And I thank you for listening to Othello's messages, to Christina's messages. We love you so much. Namaste. Blessed be.